this place is just stunning, really. I mean, it's it's hard to understand how beautiful it is. And it's hard to appreciate it because it seems like it shouldn't be this good. But I'm trying to, but it just seems so hard. Today's plan, there is a national park just a bit that way called Parc Forillon, as I practice Mont Francais, practice Mont Francais. And we're gonna go check that out real quick before the rain clouds come in this way. So just up that way, it's supposed to be the edge of the world, they call it. Let's go find out. Holy man, this place is like, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's so bold, you know, like, cause there's no sun coming down. So it's just like, uh, it's just there. Like This right here is some of the most texturish, deep, bold, strong kind of colors I've seen. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down to the beach cause it looks freaking sweet. So let's roll. Do you see that? Do you feel it? When the rest of the world disappears. That's what this brings to me. This pure silence in the mind, pure relaxation. No need to worry about yesterday. No need to worry about tomorrow. Not even five minutes from now. Because all that matters is right here and right now and that's what i'm doing i'm enjoying this moment and i'm so glad that you're here with me Okay, so I thought it was a log out there, but I think it's a beaver? I'm not really sure, check this out. Oh. He was, it was like right there. Somewhere around here, but he just went underneath the water. Oh, there he is. See him? Sometimes it's just pull over to the side of the road. I think you might have some beauty. Go check it out and you find some of the most incredible places. And that's what we were able to do today. And I know it doesn't happen all the time. You don't find beauty every single day, but one of the times you pull over and you, you think, hey, that might be cool. It's gonna be freaking cool. So keep looking for those amazing things. Keep coming along with me on this journey. Keep building a better self and enjoy life.
I'm gonna do up this window because it's raining. But there was a beautiful van right there, okay? Sorry about that. I've been chasing the van, the van life for so long, you know? It's part of me, I need to do it. And they keep popping into my life and I'm just not sure when to buy, what to buy, but that right there is a 92 van again, Euro van. Just absolutely beautiful, still great condition. And you know, like I wanna build my own, but I could just drop 12 G's on that and I'd be set, right? The only thing I'd be worried about is the heating and all that kind of stuff. It's possible to live in. It's definitely possible. I'm just like, oh, I'm asking the universe for a van and I'm not sure which one to buy, right? Do I wanna build my own? Do I wanna buy one that's already ready to go? I'm not sure, but the van life is coming soon. The van life will be here shortly. So stay tuned, we might get this one. We might buy the other Sprinter. We might build our own, who knows? But the van is coming. I know I thought this journey was over, but there's this, which is beautiful, but there's also this trail, which probably goes up even higher, and then we get even better view. So, we're gonna go up the trail. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully the rain does not destroy us, but that's the plan. But before we do that, need the tripod to get the beautiful shots so let's go and not get dumped on but let's check it out so I don't really think about this one and it was a viewing point so we did see the nice view earlier and there's this nice beautiful path my thoughts were that the path would lead to another lookout. But as we get like 15 minutes into the trail now, I'm not really sure if it's gonna lead anywhere. But it's super gorgeous, so we're gonna keep trekking. And that's the end of the road, or I guess path, but yeah. That's it for today's journey, even though I really wanted to get to the edge of the world. I couldn't make it, because I got things to do. Epic adventures, thanks so much for coming along.